friends are having a great time at Didi's house. He has so many toys. They're seeing who can build a taller tower. Didi's is taller. Huh. No, but mine is. <gasps> oh no! Yay! I win. Oh. My tower is taller. Oh. <laughs> Mimi, Theo, quit laughing. Let's go to bed. It's late. Okay. <sighs> Dee Dee, good thing we're sleeping over. Yeah, we gotta clean up first. Why? We're gonna play again tomorrow. Nothing is gonna happen to our toys. Oh, that's what you think. Whoa, what's Mimi imagining this time? Whoa, this whole city is made of blocks. What a tall tower. Mimi, Theo, look, that house looks like mine. <laughs> yeah, it does. Mimi, that one looks like yours. No, mine's way prettier. What's happening? It's shaking. The blocks are falling. It's an earthquake! Mimi, Theo, Dee Dee, get out of here! Oh no! Look out! So much laundry! Theo, Dee Dee, hold on! Ah! Uh, ah. Ah. Uh. Theo, where's Mimi? Mimi! We have to get out of here. Let's go. Ah! I can't move. Help, Grandma. Phew, Grandma Sor, we nearly drowned. Of course. Just look at this mess. You need to clean up. Okay, Grandma. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. They don't want to be cleaned up. Maybe they like being on the floor? No, that's not right. Everything just has its own place. Stuffed animals go in the baskets. They'll stay clean there. Blocks go in a box with a lid so they don't get lost. Clothes get hung up in the closet. That way they won't get wrinkled or dusty. And scarves and mittens go in the drawers, so they'll be easy to find. That's how you keep your room tidy. And we don't step on any more toys. Now we'll know where everything is. Beautiful! You should always take care of your things. Now, give me a hug. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the kids had a great time cleaning up. Now, they can relax. Tomorrow's going to be another busy day of having fun. Mimi, Theo, and Dee Dee are having a sleepover for the first time 
at Dee Dee's house. This nightlight will keep you safe at night. I'm flying to bed. Whoa! Huh? What was that? The light turned the wall clear. A bird lives in the apartment next door. We just saw it. Mimi loves using her imagination. Her friends are always happy to play along. But a bird doesn't live next door. Maybe this bird lives at the end of the ray of light and it just wanted to say hi to us. Hi, birdie. Nice to meet you. Do you have any friends? Of course she does. They're playing together. They're just like us. We should invite them to the next sleepover. Yeah! The kids were having such a fun conversation that they didn't even notice Grandpa D coming back into the room. Why are you talking instead of sleeping? We made some friends. There were three of them in here. They live all the way over there. But they flew away. They must be shy. Friends? All the way over there? They flew away? Oh, I see. Is that your friend? Yeah, it's a bird. Where are the other two? Grandpa D was having so much fun that Mimi actually noticed what he was doing. Hold on, Grandpa D. Are you making our friends with your hands? That's right, Mimi. Good eye. How are you doing that? Using a shadow. A shadow? What's a shadow? Grandpa D, will you explain? Where do I begin? Everyone has a shadow. Even you. What about me? You too. Huh? Everyone has one. Wow, cool! Shadows are the result of light sources. Can you name a few? The sun. Light bulbs. A candle. You got it. See? You kids are so smart. So, rays of light can move until they bump into something that's in their way. Cool! But they can go through clear things. Like water. Or glass. That's right. So, when the light hits something that's not transparent, like our hands, it makes a dark spot. And that spot is called a shadow. So, like, when we go outside and the sun leaves a trail behind me? Yes, that's exactly right. Awesome. And now, we can use shadows to tell a bedtime story about your birdie friend. Wow! A, a bedtime, bedtime story about, about a bird. <laughs> so, a bird was flying and saw her friend, a bunny. <sighs> yeah. So, then the bird flies along until she sees her bunny friend. Hi, bunny. Oh, hold on. I don't know how to make a bunny. This is a tricky one. Hey, kiddos, what do you think? <laughs> that was a short bedtime story. But that's okay. Now they won't know I don't know how to make a bunny. Well, I'm going to bed. What a great day. The kids learned all about shadows. This was the best slumber party ever. The kids have big plans for today. Mimi and Didi are going to pick Theo up and take him with them. Mom, I'm going out. Mimi and Didi are about to be here. Did you pick up all your clothes and socks? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I guess not everything. You can leave when you pick everything up. But, Mom... Fine. Phew, that took forever.
over. I'm kind of tired. Same here. Theo! I'm here. Uh, Theo can't play yet. Uh-oh. Something is wrong. Uh, Theo didn't do what he promised he would. But I picked everything up. Look. See? These socks are all unmatched. You promised you'd pick everything up. But I couldn't find the rest. I can't let you go until you get it all. Mimi and Dee Dee are trying to figure out what to do next. Mrs. Fox, can we help Theo find the rest of the socks? Of course, but only if you want to. We do. Then yes. Yay! The kids get straight to work. <gasps> but it's a pretty slow start. I can't find anything. Me neither. I know. To find a sock, you have to think like a sock. <laughs> It didn't work for me. Or me. What if we use my imagination to find them? Yeah! This is going to be a great game. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Sock. Will you tell us where to find your brothers? I saw one by the stairs. Thanks, Sock. Traitor! You snitched on us. Uh -huh. Catch them. We have to bring you back to your brothers! Socks. Oh, good job. Was it hard? Not at all. It was super fun. Yeah. That's great. Come on, I'll give you some lunch. Yay! Theo, promise you won't make a mess like that again? I promise. The kids had a fun day cleaning up. They helped Theo out, and they learned that making a mess isn't the right thing to do. Tag, you're it. Mimi, I need your help. Let's pick out all the things we don't need anymore, and then we'll have a yard sale. Mm. It'd be great to have a yard sale. Oh! <laughs> 
भिजवानी Supposed to only sell old things you don't need anymore. <gasps> Mimi, do you already know what you're going to bring out for the yard sale? Hmm, I think I'd rather see what you're selling first. Hmm. <laughs> On the chair. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'll take a. Uh, uh. mm hmm. Huh. Oh. <gasps> You can't run in restaurants. It's dangerous and disruptive. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Sorry Mr. Mr. Unicorn. Unicorn. to have good table manners. Okay, Mom. Okay, okay Mrs. Unicorn. Unicorn. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Mimi and her mom are going shopping. Hey, 
Hey, kid. <gasps> what are you doing? I'm trying to find my mom. If I do this, my mom will be able to find me. Oh. <laughs> but I can't find a security guard anywhere. Hmm? Ah! Do you know your mom's phone number? Uh-uh. Your attention, please. If you're missing a child, come to the cash register. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't keep a closer eye on you. Stay close to your mom and don't get lost next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Huh? Thank you! Do you like that toy? I love it! Will you get it for me? For your birthday. But I want it now! It's so expensive. We came here to buy groceries, you know. Hmm. <gasps> Can I buy it for myself? That's a great idea. Where will you get the money? I'll earn it! Very interesting. How will you do that? I'll come up with something. <laughs> okay. Mrs. Unicorn was very impressed by Mimi's idea, so she decided to help her out. When Mimi gets home, she starts thinking of ways to earn enough money to afford the toy. Mimi spent a lot of time thinking until she got too tired and fell asleep. What are you up to? Just thinking of ways to make some money. And how's that going? I haven't come up with anything yet. That's okay. I have an idea. Yay! There are a lot of fruits and berries around us. No, there aren't. <laughs> Not here, silly. Outside. Oh, right! <laughs> What if you pick some? We can use them to make juice and then you can sell it. Yay! That's a great idea! I love you, Mom! Love you too, sweetie. Can I invite Theo and Didi? Of course. Mimi is so happy. She calls her friends and they agreed to help her out right away. Here are some baskets. Just stay close to home. Okay, Mom. You ready? Yeah! I'll get the most fruit. No, I will. Let's see who will get the most. The kids can't wait to start picking fruits. The kids filled up their baskets with fruit and carried them back to Mimi's place. I think we got too much fruit. Yeah, I like this. The kids are already a little tired. But their work isn't done. Mimi and her mom start making juice. But first, they need to make a stand. So, Mr. Unicorn, Theo, and Dee Dee start putting one together. I have a feeling we're gonna sell out right away. I hope so. I'm already sleepy. Here's the first customer. Oh, yeah. But I have some juice. Of course, that'll be 75 cents. Mrs. Sheep gives her a dollar. Keep the change. This is delicious. Thank you. Wow. Word about Mimi's delicious juice spread all around town. Everyone wants to try it. Yeah, I'd do it again. Same here. The next day, Mimi and her mom headed to the store to buy the toy. Mimi really wanted to buy that toy, but she remembered that she couldn't have raised this money without the help of her friends. So she decided to buy three toys instead, one for everyone. Mimi gave Theo and Didi their toys right away. Friendship is more important than anything. Hello, Mr. Oink. Hi, Mr. Oink. Oh, hi there. 
Nice to see you. How can I help you today? We want to plant some flowers in our garden. Mimi promised she'd help me. I love helping my mom. I think I know what you need. He's going to bring us some flowers. Here you go. The best of the best. My finest seeds. Huh? No, we need flowers, not seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi, Mr. Oink knows what he's talking about. Seeds grow into flowers. I'll show you at home. Let's say thank you to Mr. Oink. You're already here! Hi, kids. Hi, Hi Miss Unicorn. Mom, can Theo and Dee Dee help us with the flowers? Of course. The more the merrier. Yay! I want to plant it already. Mom, let's plant our magic flower already. It's going to be so tall. What do you mean, magic flower? How tall do you think it's going to get? Mr. Oink sold us magic seeds, like wow. in a fairy tale. No, no, kids. Mr. Oink sold us normal seeds. Oh. All flowers grow from seeds. <gasps> Even those red roses? Yes, and not all roses are red. And not all daisies are white. Flowers can be all kinds of different colors. Like yellow roses? Yes. Here, I'll explain it to you. A long, long time ago, the flowers were even bigger and they were everywhere. But they were all gray, not very pretty. Our garden would have been so sad, like it is right now. That's for sure, Mimi. Anyway, insects moved pollen from one flower to another. That's how flowers reproduce. So there grew lots and lots more flowers. Even more than at the park? Way more than that, Dee Dee. There were so many flowers that they had to get creative to get the bugs' attention. So they'd get pollen from them instead. That's right. If you don't pollinate a flower, it wilts. So the flowers started changing colors and putting on fancy outfits. It's like when we're going to a party, so everyone can see us being pretty. Every day is a party for the flowers. They want to get noticed and pollinated. Is that why people give flowers on special <laughs> occasions? I think so. It really makes a party feel like a party. Anyway, flowers come in all shapes and colors. It's all about showing the pollinators how special they are. Nowadays, we can plant seeds to grow flowers. Like the seeds we got from Mr. Oink. That's right. Now, let's plant these flowers. Will our flower be red or yellow? How long do we have to wait? 10 minutes? 15? What's it gonna smell like? You're going to have to be patient. We need to take care of the seeds every day. And one day, you'll wake up and see the flower. And then you'll have the answer to all your questions. We'll take such good care of it. Today, the kids learned all about why flowers come in different colors. And soon, they'll have their very own The Magic Flower.